Oh my god. I'm in Avenue Kevin. Yeah. That's real. Hey guys, Wallace from TPG here, and I'm here at JFK in my Cactus Pan garb to check out the brand new PWA hotel. So there are three things I'm really interested in seeing about this hotel. One, how much do they really go for this golden age of travel theme? Two, is this it even a good hotel? And then three is, is this an Abdi heaven? Because they say this is the place to be if you like planes and you want to be at JFK. Okay, air train is here. Time to hop on and check it out. We made it. We are here. So this is the original 1962 structure still. It really is an incredible structure. Like airports don't look like this anymore. So to have something like this have new life is just so cool. Going inside. Guys, we made it. We are here right now in the TWA Terminal Building in the famous Sunken Lounge, probably the most iconic space in this building. This is also currently the largest hotel lobby in the entire world, because after all, it was a terminal building. I'm really excited to take a tour of the entire space. Before we do that, I want to show something really cool, and that is this board right here. They don't really make these anymore, and it's got this famous clacking sound. They actually wanted to recreate the feeling of this building here, and they had to go all the way to a small town in Italy, north of Venice, to get this created again. So, a little bit about the history of this building. It was commissioned in 1955 to be built by Aero Saarinen, a famous Finnish-American architect. Same guy who designed the St. Louis Gateway Arch, as well as the International Arrivals Building at Dulles. When it opened in 1962, it pretty quickly became obsolete. It was too small for the jets that became so prevalent in aviation, like a 747, for example. But the building itself was one of the first to have a, a PA system, jetways, uh, electronic boards. So it's really innovative across the board. Oh, I'd like to have um, a first-class flight, please. Booked on points, obviously. Here we go. Hello. Hi. Wow, cool to be here. Awesome. Thank you. So this will be what I imagine, a bar with seats, chairs, other seats, and the bar is in the back, I bet. If this is economy, I wish I was flying economy in the 1960s. We made it to the coolest place in this entire hotel, the cockpit of Connie. Let's check out the other parts of the hotel, like the room and the roof. It's a million dollar view for you. Really? It's cost a million dollars? Yeah, so this is just a standard room that we booked. You know, the first thing I really noticed was the attention to detail and the fact that you really feel like you've stepped back into 1962. And it still has that like modern feel though. I mean, the, the flat screen TV, even this seems you know, like a modernized version of a 1960s era design feel, you know? Totally. It, it feels like you're back in time, but it doesn't feel like the technology is actually exactly. back in exactly. time. Even, Other than the phone. Even that. Oh, I love this. The TWA Hotel. Yeah, bathroom. so bathroom. Again, the attention to detail, the branding. This hotel has got it down so well with all the TWA stuff. You got the old logo. Totally. Even you this. know, the glasses here. They've got TWA Connie's on here. Room occupied. I mean, look at that. It's it's beautiful. So the TWA branding, as, as you see, is still everywhere, which is just amazing. I'm absolutely a huge fan. Over here we've got the shower, which is really nice. I think it will probably even pass the TPG shower test. Three, two, one. Okay, this is six, seven. <laughs> and for those at home who don't know, TPG shower test, TPG Brian Kelly is six, seven. So if the shower goes over his head, it's a pass. If not, then it fails. 
So, how, how do you book this? Is this a Points Hotel or something like that? Hotels.com, maybe? Great question. So, unfortunately, it's not part of any major chain, so you won't be able to use Marriott or Hyatt Points to book it. Exactly. And right now, they're not putting the hotel on any OTA, so you won't be able to book it through Hotels.com for 10x points with the Capital One Venture, none of uh, that crazy and, stuff. And, and, and OTA is online travel? Online travel agency. Okay. Think Expedia, you know, Hotels.com, Orbitz. Wow, so you have yeah. to book directly with you the hotel? Book directly, TWAHotel.com. Then what card should I use to pay for the hotel? Probably going to want to use a card that gets bonus points on travel purchases. So that's like a Chase Sapphire Reserve, Got it. City Premier, Got it. Sapphire Preferred, one of those guys. Cool. Yeah. Smart guy right there. <laughs> How'd you do it, Frank? How'd you do it, Wallace? How'd you pass the bat in Louisiana? Listen. I'm sorry I put you through all this. I'm sorry I put you through all this. You know, I'm going to let you fly tonight. Nobody's chasing you. <laughs> Heading to the roof now. The roof is probably the coolest thing about this entire place. It's over 10,000 square feet, and it's like an observation deck to the rest of the airport. There's also a bar, a, an infinity pool, and lots of TWA branded stuff. and runway fours, they're currently departures. But in a couple weeks when it's done, you can sit by the pool, grab a drink, check out the view. So this is really one of a kind list. Okay guys, so checking back in on those three things that we talked about initially. Does this hotel pay attention to detail or is it just a sham? The fact is it does. I mean, I think everything here is pretty meticulously designed, well thought through, and you know, it's not finished. There are missing pieces. But overall, they do a good job of not making this a sterile airport hotel at all. Two, is this a good hotel? Well, I haven't stayed the night and it's clearly not done, but first impressions are, yeah, it's a nice hotel. I mean, look, the service was kind of all over the place today. The, the bars weren't functioning, the restaurants weren't open, but it looks like it's gonna be a pretty nice hotel. We've yet to find out and we're gonna find out more some, some, some of our, our fellow TBGers are staying here tonight. And then thirdly, is this Ab Geek Heaven and really a destination? Honestly, yeah, I think so. I mean, the roof, again, hasn't been finished, but the rooms, everywhere else, the fact this is such a TWA um, historic site is something I think people will flock to. And especially if you like watching planes, you gotta check it out. Especially if you live in New York or just stopping by New York, you gotta check it out. And if you really like watching planes, subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch all that there.